uh, so yeah, everyone knows what Halloween is and does. Yeah. And there's the horror, like, um, <clears throat> haunted houses show up even more. The original uh, costume of Samhain. Yeah, Samhain. Samhain. Um, yeah, as the Gaelics Samhain. would say. Samhain. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Samhain. Samhain. There actually was a metal band called Samhain as well. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. 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 Do they just sing about just Halloween stuff? Or? <clears throat> I don't know. Probably Never not. listened to them. <laughs> <laughs> I just said they're there. It was but... one of those ones you'd always see in H and B. Be like, nah, maybe I should listen to that one day, and you never really do. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, cool cover. Oh, well. My favorite part of Halloween is jack o' lanterns. Oh, me too. Hands down. Yeah, it's just the best. I, I mean, yeah, the the traditional like orange ones are always fun. Yeah, yeah. But when you realize there were more gourds out there. And you start carving the shit out of those? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did a bunch of the, the white pumpkins. Or not the white pumpkins, like squash. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of times I'd just get a bunch of squashes and carve them into there. And some of them just last longer as well, compared to just regular pumpkins. Yeah, I mean, I'd still throw them at oncoming traffic the next day anyway. Oh, yeah. I never... still. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I found a really neat story about the jack-o'-lantern. Ooh. And how they came to be. There's a bit of debate about who figured out the first like carving turnips because a lot of them had carved turnips and, yeah. or pumpkins or yep. gourds or whatever um, and put a little light in them but a lot of people think it's the Irish who started it probably just because they're typically drunk and <laughs> <laughs> surrounded <laughs> by root based vegetables also Terry <laughs> is mostly Irish so let's yeah. just <laughs> yeah, of course. throw that out there for all of our angry Irish friends now <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, no, I imagine like if anyone was like, yeah, the Irish came up with the idea that like, yeah, of course it was us. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Take just take all the credit. Well, I mean, um, like, yeah, it could because it's mostly used to like ward off others is, yeah. things like um, ward off spirits, spirits, yeah, and, like, or guide them home, depending also. on how you yeah. look at it. So, yeah, the old Irish folk tale from the mid nineteenth century tells of Stingy Jack, a lazy and shrewd blacksmith who uses a cross to trap Satan. Hmm. There was two variants of the story. One story says that Jack tricked Satan into climbing an apple tree, and once he was up there, Jack quickly placed crosses around the trunk or carved a cross into the bark so Satan couldn't get down. Kind of like and a cat. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Until like these little like demon firefighters had to like go up there and get him, <laughs> and he was like he was like squirming the whole time. Still and had to, claws like, the shit out of him. Jumped down one of their backs <laughs> and stuff and ran away. Another version of the story says that Jack was getting chased by some villagers from whom he had stolen. When he met Satan, and Satan claimed it was time for him to die. However, the thief stalled his death by tempting Satan with a chance to bedevil the church-going villagers who were chasing him. Jack told Satan to turn into a coin with which he would pay for the stolen goods. Satan could take on any shape he wanted, obviously. Uh, later, when the coin disappeared, the Christian villagers would fight over who had stolen it. The devil agreed to this plan. He turned himself into a silver coin and jumped into Jack's wallet, only to find himself next to a cross Jack had also picked up in the village. Mm. Jack closed the wallet tight, and the cross stripped the devil of his powers, and so he was trapped. In both folktales, Jack only lets Satan go when he agrees never to take his soul. After a while, the thief died, as all living things do, and of course his life had been too sinful for Jack to go to heaven, but Satan had also promised not to take his soul, so he was barred from hell as well. Hmm. So now Jack had nowhere to go, and he asked how he would see where to go as he had no light, and Satan mockingly tossed him an ember from the flames of hell that would never burn out. Jack then carved out one of his turnips, which were his favorite food, put the ember inside it, and began endlessly wandering the earth for a resting place. He became known as Jack of the Lantern, or Jack O'Lantern. Lantern. Ooh. That's cool. I yeah. like that. I haven't heard of that in one, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's also, uh, yeah, the whole, like, warding off the, the undead and yeah. stuff. Uh, apparently superstitious people use them specifically to ward away vampires. They thought that this was because it was said that the jack-o'-lantern's light was a way of identifying vampires. And once their identity was known, they would give up their hunt for you. How? How? How so? How? Because I kind of want to, like, start shining... Pumpkins are on people. Pumpkin lights on people. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. Uh, maybe because it has to do with spirits. It's like a connection to the dead. Maybe, yeah. And maybe the light coming from some source of that would like reveal someone who was also undead. Or they'd get like sucked into it like a Pokeball. Nah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know still if thinking, it works I guess. Quite that <laughs> it's like, no, that does not, don't fucking ever pull one near me. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Gonna hop away. You want me to kill myself? <laughs> just get a lantern? Like, you know, this coming week and just like, see? I'm oh, okay. yeah. No, don't worry. I'm, I think we're gonna go more or less all out for the Halloween. Not really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna <laughs> probably just have like, home or something a bit like of, like, my bar has a bunch of, like, Santeria candles and skulls and shit around it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I keep my 
Spirits. But I'm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Boom, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, uh, I'm running low on that. Good job, yeah. <laughs> Run along and boom for you. Yeah, Run along and boom for you. And also, Very good job. This is the, like Czechoslovakian absence that I hate but keep drinking. <laughs> I want that. No, because it gives you pretty inspiration rough. to write your morbid poetry. No, no, draw dumb shit. Oh. Okay. And also, like, I ran out of Buckley's and I was sick for a while. Mm. So I wanted to, like... Just needed to incinerate everything that was in your throat. Pretty much. Yeah. And it worked really well. Yeah. yeah. But my stomach more or less, like, Hates you. shut itself out for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, kept burping up this terrible absinthe. Oh. And that, like, that's the other thing, too. Like, it's supposed to have, like, a mild, like, licorice mixed with gasoline flavor to it. <laughs> It is mostly just the gasoline. <laughs> yeah, no one really tells you that the licorice is very, very mild. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. There is, like, just no hints of it either. And, I'm like... And you're supposed to drink it with sugar and water as well. And you're absence. supposed to dilute it. Yeah, you're supposed to dilute it, but, you know, you're supposed to do a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, the drink 151. Yeah. Yeah. There was one time I had that, uh... Did you see spirits? Story time. <laughs> story, story time for all. Story time this of this one that we debauched past. Yeah. Well, no, this is a different girl, and I think she moved back to Toronto. Oh yeah, Toronto. Like we we saw each other for a little bit, and then she took off. Um. Anyway, yeah. First date that we actually had, like, uh, we I went over to her place. <laughs> and uh, no, no, um, it was. It was, was it the close one? to Halloween, though. But anyway. See, there's a Halloween story now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I went over to a place, and uh, and she was like, <laughs> we we're going to go to a club after. After. And uh, <laughs> was it the really loud story? Shh. Yeah, that one, yeah. But anyway, we're like, yeah, we're tired now. So we're like... <laughs> So we got... My throat hurts. <laughs> and she was like, mine too. <laughs> Sorry about the neighbors. So anyway, she was like, let's drink. Let's, let's, she's got, she's got, I got some absinthe. So she, and she was like, you ever had it? And I was like, nope. So uh, we had some, and she was like, and I said, like, this tastes fucking god awful. Like, it was so bad. Yeah. And uh, so she was like, yeah, let's cut it with Red Bull. <laughs> so she did that, and that was horrible. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And so she put it in a bottle in her bag. And then we went to get Slurpees, because I was like, I like Slurpees. Mm -hmm. So we did that, and then she was like, let's put the absinthe in there. <laughs> so she put absinthe in the Slurpee, oh. and it was a 7-Up Slurpee, and it didn't taste good oh, at all. Yeah. And then she was like, yeah, I'm just going to cut this with more Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, if I could do that to mine too. Oh. So before we got to the club, we'd polished off these horrible drinks. <laughs> horrible fucking drinks. And had a very interesting evening. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly mean, before Halloween. There we go. Yeah, um, <laughs> Relatable. Yeah, lots of, lots of people drink and party on Halloween in the leading weeks up to yeah. <laughs> said stories. <laughs> I just, there was an absinthe story that I had. That's oh yeah, no. I know. Everyone's had like weird party absinthe story. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I have yeah. yet to have one you. Have you ever had I absinthe will. before? I had absinthe before. I just you had never... bad absinthe before? Maybe. <laughs> oh, we're doing it? No, we're... you're doing it. <laughs> Don't get any more of the good tequila until you take a small oh, swig of this. Just, just, just a small just a swig. Big. Just, just a wee bit. Just to so, wet so your apple butt. Oh, it's like, it smells like Listerine. <laughs> it looks like it, too, but it's not. It's from Texas. <laughs> Devin just drank it all and replaced it with Listerine. He's just like, yeah, I'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. back. It's not bad. Alright, go nuts. I'm okay with it, actually. Yeah? Tastes like fucking Listerine. <laughs> Damn it. She <laughs> might act, it might yeah. actually be Listerine. Ah, <coughs> it's not Listerine. <laughs> have the rest, have the rest. Okay. Hey, can I have a will? Oh, go for it. I've already got a mint in my mouth, so I'm just gonna, like, double Listerine here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tastes like Listerine. I mean, like, it's not bad. That was actually pretty good. Really? That's yeah. Not bad. Um, okay, I'm, I, I didn't like it. Really? No, that's actually pretty tasty. Okay. Where'd you get that? I can't remember. Damn it! No, for real. I, really I, I, I bought it during a friend's bachelor party, I think. It's not bad. Yeah, it's tasty. 
like herb. It's very herby. Actually, it could also be like I said. I got a mint in my mouth. Maybe so it might because that actually it tasted really tasty when it came down.